All right, so the fan light switch is no longer working. So time to replace it uh, using this Harbor Breeze on off uh, fan light switch. So I'm gonna walk through um, changing this out. Okay, so my first step is going to be to turn off the breaker. And the reason for that, so I can turn it off at this, turn this, the fan off at the switch. But the problem is that's my boys room. Um, they're walking in and out. Um, they can hit that switch just by habit and then it will fry me. So just probably safe to turn it off at the breaker. So that's gonna be 23 right here. Turn that off. Okay, so there's the switch right uh, there. I gotta replace. Um, and so I'm going to take off these screws here. Okay, you should be able to take it out. Okay, so if you look right there, uh, you'll see the switch that we're going to be replacing. So we're going to unscrew this here. Oh, okay, so I didn't have anything blocking it, so okay. Okay, with that screwed off, now I can just pull it on out of here. Okay, so this wire here is tied in using a wire nut. This wire here may be hardwired all the way through. Um, I might have to take um, this housing apart. To, to see if that's the case, but I'm just, I should have enough excess room, so I'm just gonna cut it right here. So I'll just undo this wire. And, and then uh, I'll cut this wire. Okay, I got some 10 snips, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. They're not the greatest, but. There we go. So I'm gonna take my utility knife, go on there and uh, clean off the um, the insulation. Probably about maybe a half inch, um, three quarters of an inch um, of that of that insulation off the wire, um, so I can tie it into the new uh, switch. In the package, you'll uh, have just the switch and the instructions. Uh, instructions are pretty good. So as you saw, I had one wire nut already in place and I had to cut the other wire. So that means I need a total of two wire nuts to get this back in place. Um, and so just that's something to keep in mind is that you may uh, want to think about go ahead and purchasing uh, wire nuts if you don't have those already. Um, and then another thing is um, once you uh, set the wire nut, the wires in the wire nut uh, and tighten it up and everything, um, uh, another good practice is to you can uh, wrap it in um, electrical tape. So that's some additional material that uh, you may need. So um, so this was the existing wire nut. So I'll just, you know, find one that matches among all these that I have here. Um, so that'll be the next step. Just get get the materials ready and uh, to get this in place. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this mounted. So obviously you got to take off, um, I guess you would call this a decorative nut here. <laughs> So take that off, and I'll be able to just insert the chain through. There it is. Oh, so I can put this back on. You just got to recall how it was positioned in there. I want to get it like that because you don't want it to be in the way of the dome when you put the dome back on. So um, I'm positioning it like I saw it. And just making it nice and tight. It is plastic, so be careful because you can just, you know, break, strip the thread or whatever. So, you know, just probably hand tight and should be good to go. All right, so you have the... The two wires. It doesn't matter which wire goes to which wire. Um, it, 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 that doesn't matter.
doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter which direction the, you know, the current is going. Um, and that's according to the instructions. It just says match one wire, black wire up with the black wire, match the other one up with the other. Um, and so, so what I'll do here is take the first two pair. Go ahead and I twist them. wire nut on and I always just pull them individually make sure they're in there they're, they're in there so um. okay so I'm gonna go ahead and now I don't have wire uh, strippers so I'm just gonna use a utility knife and I usually just kind of cut it until I feel it hit metal Ah, okay. There we go. So, maybe not as long as I wanted it, but it should be alright. So, take those. So a long end here. A long individual wire. Take those and make sure about the same size. So, mix out. Mix those together. Okay, now we're going to just take some electrical tape and wrap it around these. I get around the, some of the wires and get them kind of tight together. Yeah, it's not doing a really great job. I'm going to make it tight. All right, so everything's in place now. Probably one thing I could have done better is just uh, after I got that tightened, I could have just did a dry fit, I guess you could call it, of the, the, the dome to see if it fit. So, so we'll see what happens there. Go. Okay, so the I was able to maneuver the dome in here. Uh, and then these screws, um, I'm attempting to hand tighten them in. Nah, they're kind of, it's kind of tight, so I'm just going to have to give me a Phillips head, and um, I, was, I don't want to come in with that electric screwdriver and bust the glass, so. Okay, so I just popped off the old chain. I'm going to put that on there. We should be good to go. All right, we're gonna pop that circuit back. Go. All right, so circuit's back on. Let's see what happens when we try this new switch out. Oh, wow, there we go. So again, that's the Harbor Breeze uh, on and off uh, fan uh, light uh, switch. Easy install. God bless. Thanks for watching.